Hello everybody and this is Michael O'Grady and welcome to another Flash tutorial. Today we're looking at the shape tween and I've got an empty movie, empty library uh, and two layers, keyframe animation layer and the shape tween animation layer. So what we're going to do is animate some content on both of these starting with a keyframe animation. A face on the left uh, first and a face on the right um, with a, a mouth that's going from sad to happy. So let's have a look at the keyframe way of doing this. Uh, we'll just get the pencil tool, make that smooth. So when we let go of the line, it goes fairly smooth. Here's my face. Uh, I did go to the School of Stickman Art School, as you can tell. And for the mouth, I'm just going to put a, a Bezier line in here, Bezier pen tool. That doesn't seem to have taken. Let's just start that again. <coughs> Back to the pen tool. Click and drag. Click and drag up. That looks better. And click and drag down. So we've got a not too happy little man. And I seem to have missed his eye. So let's just go back and put the eye back in. Okay. So what I want to do is animate this over time. And this is where it starts getting to be a little laborious. I'll insert a keyframe which copies the exact artwork over. And I can go to the selection or sub-selection tool uh, to change this. But I'm going to the sub-selection tool so I can change the Bezier handles of this curve. And I'm doing these five frames in between. It's actually, it's going to look quite um, staccato, quite steppy. Um, I really need to be doing these probably no more than every two, maybe three frames. So we'll just zoom in here and see if we can get a hold of these Bezier handles a bit better. I didn't have anything to drink last night, honest. <laughs> So we keep on going like this, and you can see as time's going on, our mouth is becoming progressively less sad. Okay, and you can see it's getting quite laborious. Okay. So to do this, we'd keep on and on and on. Um, so let's just go to frame 40 and end up with a smile. We'll just deselect everything and give him a smile. So I can change the curve at both sides and I can also change the coordinate and can make it a broader smile if I want. So he's, uh, he's looking a bit like Fungus the Bogeyman <laughs> um, but you get the idea. It's not a good way of doing it. Well, There are, there are better ways of doing it. One of which is sh shape tween animation. So let's just go back to well let's go back to fitting window. I like this because it always shows the full stage uh, and I can choose as I get more layers to see less of the stage. Um, but I always get to see the full stage. So let's do a little man in red this time. Um, obviously I'm getting a little bit more confident here. It's the practice. Uh, it's going to have some hair. And we'll give him a downward mouth. Now I'm going to insert a keyframe right at the end and animate his mouth and we'll see what happens. There's always a danger when you animate one thing on a layer uh, when there are other things on that layer. Now it looks like we've got another coordinate here so I'll just click that and uh, get rid of it, delete and change this into a happy smiley face and I'll move the coordinates as well Select that and use the up left arrow, up right arrow. Okay, so we've got a nice smiley face. And what I need to do now then is simply right click and create shape tween in the middle. So the mouth has gone a little bit strange. you can see it's interfering with other um, items on the, the stage. So we can either do something I'm going to do in a, a little while or start off by adding shape hints. 
So I'll just show you shape hints. This is just off stage. <coughs> Add a shape hint. And it puts a little A on frame one and the last frame, the last keyframe. And I'm going to just drag that down to the mouth there on the first frame go to the last frame and drag it down to the same place where I want it to be there. And I think what's happening is the, the eyes are interfering with it. <coughs> but that's that, that shape in has stopped the eyes interfering with it, but now we seem to have a, a ghosting face appearing. So let's just add another shape in. To let's see if this makes any better. I'll just put that to the centre of the mouth and in the final frame put that to the centre of the mouth. <coughs> So that's making no difference at all. So I'll just add uh, another one and we'll see where we get to. Um, but by and large, I'm going to have to resort to, I think, putting the face on one layer, a static layer, and putting the mouth on a separate layer. OK, so it uh, looks like the hair might be changing. So let's just add another one on the hair. That seems to, to change a little bit. That's made no difference at all. So let's just see if we can actually pin this down. If not, it's plan B. <laughs> Go to the first frame, insert a shape, add a shape hint, and we'll put this onto the actual face outline. I'll just put that there. And same there. So we've now got four A, B, C, D. Usually a couple, maybe three at the most. No. <laughs> wow. Sometimes I was going to say you, you add one or two and it goes worse and it needs a third to uh, to make it correct. So we've had four to make it go worse. So let's just change this layer now. I'm going to uh, go to plan B. I'm going to call this the static face layer. And I'm going to make a uh, moving mouth layer. Okay, so the implication is the majority of the face is on the static layer. Let's just remove the tween. And we need to remove the mouth, deselect everything, get the mouth there, select it. And what I do is Control X here, but um, I'd cut, just showing you how to do it, and then put it on the moving mouth layer. Now there are two, well actually three pastes, uh, but Control V pastes in the center. I want to paste it in place. Um, so control shift V and I also want to get rid of the mouth in the last frame here okay so we'll just delete that and I'm doing a shape tween so I need a keyframe in the end and I could change this or I could insert a blank keyframe and put a new mouth in there if I wanted Okay. So I've already got my mouth. Um, I'll just paste it back into there. This is the one I deleted earlier. And create a shape tween. And now when I drag through, the shape tween automatically looks after that for me. Okay. So I've got two smiley people done different ways. The static face, obviously, if I'm playing around with this, I can lock that so I don't get any interference while I'm creating my moving, moving mouth. So let's just make um, a left eye movement, just to uh, practice this. Eye move left, so we've got a new layer. Uh, our face is locked, so I have no interference from that. I'll go to the pencil tool and I'll give him a, a red eye. Looks like he's been up all night. We'll put that quite low and quite small. And we need the keyframe at the end. So we get that art copied over. I'm just going to uh, write over the top of it just to make it bigger. Okay. And then we right click in there, create a shape tween, and just drag that backwards and forwards so we can see the eye moving. Obviously, we need to create, for practice and for symmetry, <laughs> an eye move right. OK, so it's just more of the same. Fairly, fairly straightforward. The moral is, move one thing on one layer. Things you don't want to move, lock them on different layers. So, so the keyframe at the end, keyframes at both ends, 
and shape between needs lines and fills. Break it down to component lines and fills. Okay, so there we have our little smiley men with uh, beady eyes. So what we're going to do now is look at text. So we'll create a new flash file. Just file and new. New action script 3 file. And I'm going to use shape tweening to morph some text and the letter A to the letter B. So we need some text to morph. Remember it's shape tweening so we need uh, keyframes at both sides. So I'll we'll just increase this up. Beyond control is my font today. And we'll morph this over 25 frames so I need a keyframe. And it's good to insert a keyframe because then the size of the font is all uh, brought over. We just change the, the text. But you'll see I can't create a shape tween now. This is because the individual letters are still mathematically linked to the font. And I have to break them down using the break apart, modify break apart, uh, once, and we've still got the outline, and then twice. And you'll see the shortcut is Control b so I have to do this at both ends, breaking apart twice, and you can see the, the dotted fill, and now I can shape between in between. So we've got A to B. But of course when we run the movie, um, it uh, goes, it jumps A to B and then it jumps back to A. So to get a smooth transition A to B back to A, what I can do is copy the content in frame 1, you see there it is jumping, copy the content in frame 1 and drop it into a frame further along. Okay, So let's just take that, we'll double, double click to select everything and we'll go to copy and then over at frame 50 we'll morph back into a blank keyframe, the keyframe here will now insert um, our uh, content that we've just copied over, the A, and we'll right click and create a shape tween. So now we're going A to B and then B to A. So when our movie starts back up again, there's no jumping. Okay, so here it's uh, seamless. Doesn't really do much interesting, but you get the concept. So let's have a look at. Um, going to file publish. What I didn't show you there was the file publish. Um, if you go to file and then publish settings and then choose GIF you can make an animated GIF. You have to click animated and you can loop continuously or you can repeat for X number of times. Just put a number in there. You can also get um, whether opaque or transparent, transparent GIFs and you can set colour thresholds etc. So this is really nice for getting a little movie out as a, an animated GIF for maybe a Twitter or Facebook um, profile. So what I'm going to do now is make a new layer, we'll call this uh, Michael to O'Grady and I'm going to put some text uh, on this new layer, uh, Michael and I'm going to word, morph the word Michael into the word O'Grady. So we'll just lower that down a little bit. <clears throat> so we've got two layers, two pieces of action. Just change the colour to green and I can morph back here with a, a keyframe so that it ends up as Michael. Um, but we We'll do this um, laboriously. Again, that was a shortcut. I want O'Grady at frame 25, so I'll just insert a keyframe, double click the content, change this to O'Grady, and then go back to Michael at the beginning. Um, or no, let's just insert a keyframe and change O'Grady back to Michael. So, Michael here, we need to break apart twice, Control B twice. Here again, Control B twice, and at the end, Control B twice. And now we can create shape between here and here, and we've got a seamless uh, movement from Michael to O'Grady back to Michael. 
So let's just change the colours, make these a little more interesting and run the movie. Okay. And that's it. Thank you for watching.